Na keke always get cool guests. Up next, we have Mvubu. introduce you to our friends today. The friend that I'm going to be introducing you to both live on land and have hooves and horns. Can you guess who they are? Okay, you're going to meet Bushe, the black buck antelope, and Howard, the hog deer antelope. First, let's meet Bushe, the black buck antelope. Black buck antelopes are found in South Africa. Hello, Bushe. Hello, Mvubu. How are you today, my friend? I'm fine, thank you, Vubu. How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm here to ask if you can tell my friends at home a little bit about you and how you live. I don't mind doing that for you at all, Vubu. Tell us first how you protect yourself from predators. We are one of the fastest animals in the world. Our keen eyesight and blazing speed are our main protection. When we are scared, we run off in high leaps and bounds. Then we break off into a quick gallop. Shoo! I'm sure your horn also helps. We can use them, but they are more for when males are showing their strength to attract us females. We will lock horns and push against each other until one male concedes defeat. Are male horns different from female horns? Male horns corkscrew upwards in a V-shape with one to four tight spirals. Females usually don't have any horns, but the ones that do have horns are often thinner, smoother, and may grow in non-typical patterns. That's very interesting, Bushem. What about the color of your fur? As the males age, our coloration grows from light tan at birth to dark brown, almost black at five to six years of age and older. The older males have bright white color on their bellies, muzzles, and eyebrows. Females and young also have the same markings to the males, with their main coat color being tan. Now I know what to look for in a male and a female. So, what do you eat? We are grazers and we feed mostly on grass in open fields. We also eat leaves, herbs and shrubs. Sure, you are very lucky, Bushem. You can find grass and leaves everywhere. Thank you so much for chatting with us, Bushem. We've learned quite a lot about you today. Well, it's a pleasure, Mvubu. Before I go, here are some quick facts about me. Number one, we are herbivores. Number two, male horns are different from that of females. And lastly, number three, we are one of the fastest animals in the world. Oh, Bushe, thank you so much for sharing these facts with us. Friends, let's go hear what our environmental tip is for today. Hello! Hello Mbubu, my name is Sasha. My tip for today is remember to buckle up, wear your seatbelt when you're a passenger in a car. It will keep you safe in case the driver has suddenly stopped. Bye bye Mbubu, I hope you like my tips. Wow, that was a very important tip. Thank you so much for that. Even if you're going to a place very close to you, always put your seatbelt on in the car. Now, let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. Mfubu the hippo. Mfubu the hippo. Welcome back, friends. If you've just joined us, before the ad break, we spoke to Bushe, the black buck antelope. And now we're going to meet another good friend of mine, Howard, the hog deer antelope. Let's see where Howard, the hog deer antelope, is from. Hog deer antelopes are found through northern India to mainland Southeast Asia. Hello, Howard. Hello, Mvubu. Howard, I hope you don't mind me dropping by like this. Oh, not at all. I'm always glad to see you. Glad to hear that. Now, can I ask you for a very big favor? Anything, Mvubu. Can you please tell our friends a little bit about yourself and how you live your life as a hog deer antelope? Thank you so much, Howard. Oh. I would love to do that for you and your friends. Please tell us how you got your name. We got our name from the hog-like manner, in which we run through the forests with our heads hung low so that we can duck under any obstacle. 
instead of leaping over them like most other deers. Wow, I was wondering why you ran like that. How big can you get? A Machog hog deer stag stands about 70 centimeters at the shoulder and weighs around 50 kilograms, while hens are much smaller, standing about 61 centimeters and weighing around 30 kilograms. Shoo! Before we go, please tell us about your fur, Howard. We call them antlers. The antler of a mature hog deer stag is a typically three-tined brow, tying with a solid main beam, terminating the inner and outer top of the tines. But antlers with more points are not uncommon. Many of us show a dark dorsal stripe extending from the head down to the back of the neck along the spine. And in summer, there is usually a uniform row of light colored spots along either side of the dorsal stripes from the shoulders to the rump. I'm so happy that you took the time to talk to us about your life today. It was all so very interesting. But before I leave, could you please tell us three things we should remember about you? Okay, Mvubu. Number one, we are herbivores. We get our name from the way we run. When we run away, we hold our tails upright, showing the white underside. Bye, Howard, and thank you again for chatting to us today. Friends, I think this is the right time to sway our hips, jump up and down, clap our hands, and sing out loud. Come sing along, friends. We need food and a place to stay. We love working and love to play. We can make you say ah, and sometimes eek. We can be strong, but sometimes weak. This is our land, as much as it's yours. This is our land, as much as it's yours. Whether we protect us we love being here it is to protect us we love being here we should be able to live without fear our weird and wonderful animal for today is the panda ant there are several panda ant facts that many people are yet to know one such fact is the fact that panda ants are not necessarily ants, but wasps. These insects own their own name from their black and white color. The females are often wingless, huge and have many furs on its body. These insects have a lovely appearance, but have one nasty sting that could get ferociously painful on your skin. This is why they are also called calculus since they are capable of knocking out a cow or other animals that are much larger than they are. They also have a tough exoskeleton that helps them while invading their prey's nest and also in retaining moisture since they mostly occupy dry areas. Unfortunately, it is time for me to leave you friends, but be sure to join me next week when I introduce you to even more of my friends from all over the world. And if you want to meet any animals in particular, please write to us to Mvubu and Friends, PO Box 16, Melville 2109. Or pop us an email to info at yo-tv.co.za. So from me to you, it's time to say have an animal-filled fantastic day. Goodbye!
great day and don't forget to watch live this afternoon and most certainly more your TV meeting tomorrow morning. Goodbye. <laughs>